<laughs> Are you ready to play the 100 balloon challenge? Go! <laughs> okay, Sparkle Squad, I got Coach Rocco and Jimmy here, and we're gonna each pick one balloon to pop. And the best part is, every balloon contains a very special surprise. And it just so happens that I am an expert at this game, so why don't you just stand aside and let the master do his work. Ooh, boy. Now, I hope this game doesn't get too messy. I just finished cleaning this room before you blew up these balloons and put them on the wall. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't get messy, but Coach Rocco, please let me concentrate. This could be the most important decision of my life. I have to pick the balloon with the best surprise. Remember, no messes. I know, I'll clean it up later. Sheesh. <laughs> All right, this calls for the Jimmy pick a -rooney. That's it. This is the one. This is the balloon with the very best surprise. All right, Sparkle Squad, if you want to see what Jimmy gets in his balloon, give me a big thumbs up. <laughs> Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> oh boy, what's it say? What's it say? Yes, popcorn time. This is my favorite surprise of all. I get to have all the popcorn I can eat. Okay, popcorn, come to Jimmy. Is that enough popcorn for you, Jimmy? What? I didn't even get to eat any. It's all over me. I'm on the floor. No, oh, come on. Do over. I should get a do over. Well, here's another surprise for you. What? Aww. Remember, I said no messes. All right, now that Jimmy's done cleaning, it's Ellie's turn. Hmm, I wonder which balloon I'm going to pick this time. I think I'm going to pick this blue one, one of my favorite colors. Three, two, one. All right, it says, that's the animal. And it says I have to put on a blindfold. Awesome, I was hoping that you would pick this one. Here, you go put on the blindfold while Coach Rocco and I go get him. <laughs> All right. I hope Jimmy's not cheating. I'm ready, you guys. <laughs> you can't see anything, can you? Nope. All right. Take a guess at what this animal is, Ellie. Okay. Oh, it's fuzzy and fluffy. <laughs> Must be really cute. <laughs> oh, you betcha. Keep guessing. All right. Oh. Head. Counting the legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, there's only one animal I know that has eight legs. A spider! Ah! <laughs> Can you believe that she ran away just because of an itsy bitsy little spider? What a scaredy cat. <laughs> Jimmy, I got the fuzzy creature. <laughs> 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 Jimmy, you get to pop a balloon. Let's go. All right. I pick this one. 
Good choice. Three, two, one. Three surprises? That means I get to pop three more balloons and get all their surprises. It's the best one in the whole game. <laughs> Read it and weep, you two. Time to get popping. Messy. Oh, I'm a bit nervous, but here I go. Which one do I pick? Uh, that one. All right. Three, Three two, two, one. one. What is this? A hundred dollar Roblox card. A hundred dollars in Roblox? No way. But you don't even play Roblox. Uh, Give me that. Yeah, to me, come on, come on Jim Coach Rocco, you don't even play the game. Now, can I get a new jumpsuit with this? This, I you need this. Anything you want, you can get a new house, a new car, a new pet. <laughs> Which one of these balloons has another Roblox card in it? Is it you? You? I'll find you. <laughs> now I'm really gonna wow them when I get my new jumpsuit. I'm gonna get a metallic one, and I'm gonna jazz her sides. <laughs> All right, everyone, good game, but what do you say we wrap it up and call it a day? Hey, wait a second, it's supposed to be my turn now. I'm going to pick this one. Ooh, I can't wait to see how this game could get worse for Jimmy. <laughs> Popcorn falling on my head, gooey string, Coach Rocco stealing my fashion sense. All right, all right, pipe down, Jimmy. Three, two, one. <laughs> It says, I'll be teaching the spinneroonie. <laughs> of course, of course, I can't do the spinneroonie chica. You know what, I think I'm gonna get this to my best friend who loves doing the spinneroonie, Jimmy. Now, which one of you is Jimmy again? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> you need it? Oh boy. Yep, spinneroonie right there. Wow, this game has been terrible, but no game <laughs> is so bad that a little spinneroonies can't fix them. Hmm, let's see, I'll take this one. All right, so to do the spinneroonie, first you're gonna wanna dribble a couple times, spin around three times, like so, and then spin a rooney! Awesome! My turn! Spin a rooney! Whoa! All right, now I'm gonna go. <laughs> spin a rooney! Oh, oh, oh! I made it, yeah. I made it! Not bad, you two. It needs a little work, but we'll get there. Let's spin for our rooms. Yes, I got the kitchen. Ugh. Oh, yes, I got Ellie's room. Oh, yeah. My turn. Awesome, I got my own bedroom. Easiest challenge ever. Okay, Sparkle Squad, if you want to see who leaves their room first, give me a big thumbs up. Whoever's the first to leave loses. <laughs> Ellie got stuck in the kitchen, and Casey got stuck in Ellie's room, but I get my whole room to myself. My favorite room ever. It has everything I could possibly need. My comfy bed, my trusty basketball hoop for some ballin', and even some company. My best friend in the whole world, Jimmy, too. Ah, <sighs> what more could a Jimmy need? Hey, Ellie. Hey, Casey. You know, if you want to forfeit the challenge right now and just crown me the winner, it might save you two a lot of trouble. Just say You it. win a challenge? I'll believe that when I see that, Jim Arudy. She's just jealous because she's stuck in the kitchen. Boy, and Casey must be really upset. Stuck in Ellie's room with all that pink. <laughs> but enough about those two. This is Jimmy time. And I want to hmm, play basketball. Yeah, what else? Where's that basketball? Hmm. Where is it? 
Oh, no, not soccer. That's Casey's. Another soccer ball? What's with all that soccer? Uh -oh. Oh. Basketball, where are you? Where'd you go? You couldn't have gotten far. Oh no, this is a disaster. Ah! Oh, boiled again. What am I gonna do? How am I gonna spend a day in my room alone with no basketball? Oh, I might as well be in Ellie's room. That's it, Ellie's room. I left my basketball in Ellie's room, and Casey's in there now. <gasps> hey, Casey! Oh, I mean, uh, hey, Casey! Uh, uh, Jimmy? Uh, yeah, yeah, w what's up? Oh, nothing. I was just, uh, checking in on you, that's all. <laughs> you know, between you and me, I've always thought that you were much cooler than Ellie, and uh, much better at challenges and things of that <laughs> nature, too. Wait a minute. Uh, Jimmy, you're telling me that's all you had to tell me? Oh yeah, and um, just one more teeny tiny little thing. Do you um happen to see my basketball anywhere in that room of yours? Basketball. Uh-huh. Oh, Jimmy, you mean this really awesome bouncy orange ball? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I found it all right. Think I'm gonna keep this for myself. <laughs> What? You cannot keep my basketball. That is property of Jimmy. Besides, that's my number one basketball for doing spinneroonies. I need that basketball back right now. I need it yesterday. Hand it over. Hmm. Tell you what, Jimmy. You make me an offer for your precious basketball, and I'll maybe think about doing a switcheroonie, all right? Uh, maybe. A switcheroonie? For my basketball? Um, sure, okay, how about I do your homework for one week if you give me back my ball? I'll even do your math homework. Ooh, math homework, huh? Well, that's tempting. Uh, hang on, I'm gonna think about it. Uh, one second. Hey, Ellie! Can you hear me down there? Casey, is that you? Uh, yeah. So, turns out I got Jimmy's precious basketball up here, and he wants to trade me it for doing my math homework for a week. Uh, what do you think? Should I take it? Jimmy? Doing your homework for <laughs> any subject? That's gonna be a big no thank you for me. But he should definitely give you something that matters to him. Like his Jimmy 2 cutout. Ask him for that. Oh, Ellie, you're genius. Um, hang on. I'll let you know what he says. Hey, Jim Rooney. Uh, no can do on the math homework, but I'll maybe trade you your precious basketball for, I don't know, say, your Jimmy 2 cutout? Jimmy 2? You want Jimmy 2? No way! Oh, on second hand, I guess I really do need that basketball. Oh, what to do, what to do? <sighs> well, Jimmy 2, I guess this is it. This hurts me more than it hurts you. Boy, we've had some good times over the years, haven't we? Tricked Coach Rocco like 20 times. <laughs> I remember it like it was yesterday. Oh, it's gonna be okay. But don't worry, I am not going to let her use you in gym class. And I'm especially not gonna let her take your gold medal. <sighs> You're staying with me. All right, Casey, you can have Jimmy too. But at least let me keep his medal for old time's sake. Mm. Hang on to that thought. Um, I'll let you know what I think. Be right back. Okay, Ellie, we got Jimmy too. But of course there's a catch. Jimmy wants to keep his gold medal. What do you think? Is it worth it? Tell him no medal, no deal. And on more important matters, how do you like my bedroom so far? Your bedroom? Are you kidding? I love it. Hey, you know, you got a lot of stuff to do up here. I think I can hang out here for a long, long time. <laughs> you got yourself some competition there, Sparkles. <laughs> hey, what, what's that smell? Are you making something down there? Oh, it smells amazing. What is that? Oh, it's nothing special. I'm just cooking up my special Ellie Sparkles pancakes. Hope the smell's not too distracting for you. <laughs> 
since I'm in the kitchen, I get access to all the food and I'm definitely not letting that go to waste. So I'm gonna make pancake <laughs> art. Delicious and fun. Let's try a heart-shaped pancake. <laughs> I think it's time. <gasps> Perfect. One down and maybe about 10 more to go and then Casey and Jimmy will come right down and eat them and leave their rooms making me the challenge winner. Easy peasy. <laughs> uh, now Ellie, you know what today is, right? It's Tuesday, it's kitchen cleaning day. Oh, but Coach, we're in the middle of this last to leave the room challenge and I'm in the kitchen, so. Uh, all right, I get it. I know you've got these challenges, so I'll just clean very quietly and leave the kitchen spotless. You won't even notice I'm here. <laughs> it's time for Superstar Jimmy to do his world famous move. Is he gonna go for it, Bob? I think he is, Marv. It's time for the Jimmy Sockaroonie. Huh. You know, it's just not the same with socks instead of a ball. Ugh, that is rough. These must be Coach Rocco's. That does it. The time has come for me to get my ball back once and for all. And I don't care what it takes. Hey, Casey, are you still in there? Nothing. She must be asleep. I knew it. Ellie's room is so boring, it would make anyone take a nap. That means it's the perfect time for me to sneak in and get my ball back. Give me something good to eat. Ciao. <gasps> Going somewhere, Jimmy? Um, Coach Rocco. I see you found Jimmy too. Thanks for finding him for me. No, oh, I can explain everything. You see, it was um, it was all Casey's idea. It was Casey, one hundred percent. I think you mean this basketball is 100% Casey's. <laughs> hey, Sparkles, think we just found our first elimination of the challenge. Jimmy. No, 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 I'm ruined. Come on, Coach Rocco, you gotta give me a do-over. I picked my own room, please. No, Jimmy, no do-overs. Now come with me. We have to talk about this cutout. How long have you had this for? <laughs> He's my best friend. I'm so sorry I let you down, Jimmy, too. March. <laughs> mm -hmm. Staying in the kitchen all day makes you an expert at making pancakes. <laughs> Wait a second. Where'd this come from? Oh, I got syrup on my brand new outfit. Guess I'll have to go clean it up. Gross. <laughs> ah! Casey, Ellie. <laughs> I totally was not coming down here to get pancakes or anything. And I totally wasn't gonna go get a new outfit or anything, so. This never happened? Never happened. Now, Jimmy, the issue of the cardboard cutout is serious business. I'm beginning to think that you use this thing instead of going to class yourself. Now, you were awfully quiet in math class. And come to think of it, you didn't say a peep in science class. Now, I'm, won I'm wondering if this is you now, Jimmy. Perhaps this whole place is another cardboard cutout. Maybe I'm a cardboard cutout. Jimmy, Jimmy, come to my house, teleport over to me. Hold on, I'm finishing up a pizza delivery. All right, sheesh, you don't have to bark at me. I'll head right over. Bark? Who are you talking about? It sounds like a, a, a dog. dog. I wonder if Coach Rocco got me a dog. A new dog? Oh boy, oh boy. Finally, a puppy of my very own. I'll call him Jimmy. Ellie, Jimmy, look what I found outside. A flyer. Looks like somebody in the neighborhood has lost their dog. Aw, so we don't get a new puppy? No new dog, but, but 
No, I didn't get you a new puppy, but somebody's doggy needs our help. And whoever finds it gets a reward. A reward? You mean like all-you-can-eat cupcakes? Or Robux? No, obviously if it's a reward, it has to be some sort of treasure. Oh, like well, jewelry well, or well, some well, kind well, of, well, like a rubber well, chicken. Well, I love well, 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 or something. Is it just me? Or does this dog sound really close? Oh, sounds like the dog could be in the house. Looks like this is a job for the pet detectives. Sparkle Squad, if you want to help us find the lost dog, hit that thumbs up button. Jimmy, that's for notes. Come on, let's go check outside. Follow me. No dog can resist the bone. Here, doggy, doggy, doggy. Here, boy. I got your favorite squeaky toy. Hey, why don't you whistle? Oh, good idea. Here, doggy, doggy. Still can't whistle, huh? No, no, I can whistle. I just, <laughs> my lips are a little dry, that's all. <laughs> it's okay, not everybody can I whistle. I can do it, I can do it. Hold on. Okay. You got this. Here, doggy, doggy. <laughs> See, a perfect whistle. Yeah. It seems we have a pet mystery afoot. Hey, coach. Uh, why are you dressed like that? Well, uh, didn't you say you needed a pet detective for the job? <laughs> and speaking of, I have a few unanswered questions I want to ask you. First, what kind of dog was it? Was he a good boy? Was he a boy at all? Well, he better be a boy, considering I already picked out the perfect name for him, Mr. Barkles. Oh, very interesting, Jimmy. And when did you think of this name? Before or after you kidnapped this dog? Admit it, Jimmy, it was you. You're the dog napper. Oh, uh, Coach Rocco, change of plans. Why don't you take this dog whistle? Only dogs can hear it, so if there's a dog around, it'll come right out. Oh, genius, a dog whistle. Well, don't go anywhere, Jimmy. I still have to say you're a little bit sus. But I'll go start investigating upstairs! <laughs> yeah, I'll come join you. Um, and Jimmy, you can put some treats out down here. Are you sure these dog whistles work? I can't hear a thing. I'm gonna use my gym whistle instead. No, wait! The dog whistles do work. They just have a pitch that only dogs can hear. Oh, you mean I can't hear? This is brilliant. Here, I'll blow it really hard. <laughs> Here, doggy. I know we heard that one. Ah! Who is making that awful noise? Stop it. What noise? You know, the loud pitch. It's all I can hear. And Jimmy, you can hear that? Of course I can hear it. I have ears, don't I? Now knock it off. Some pet detectives you two are. <laughs> Ellie, is Jimmy part dog? I should make a note of that. You know what, Coach? Jimmy does kind of remind me of a puppy. Look at him. <gasps> there it is. Why don't you two ditch those obnoxiously loud whistles and try one of these on for size instead? Here, one for you and <laughs> one for you. <laughs> So, what are these exactly? They're squeaky toys. My personal favorite. I, I mean, uh, the dog's personal favorite. Once we squeak these, like so, <laughs> the dog will come running. Follow my lead. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm gonna go check downstairs, you guys. Doggy, doggy. 
This is my super awesome new plan. While Ellie's looking for the dog, I'm gonna bring the dog to me with these super awesome dog treats. Once the dog gets a whiff of these babies, it won't be able to resist. It'll eat the treats all the way upstairs and lead itself to, you guessed it, the rubber chicken. <laughs> This really is my smartest plan ever. Jimmy's gonna save the day and collect that reward money. Oh no. What's that? Oh, I hope that's not what I think it is. Coach Rocco? Ah! Coach Rocco, what have you done? You vacuumed up my entire trail. There was food all over the ground. If I would leave food all over the place, it'd be crawling with ants. No, Coach Rocco, the dog was going to eat the food. It was a trail, and then it was going to lead itself to the rubber chicken. <laughs> the rubber chicken is the key to this entire operation. Am I the only one who understands this? <laughs> I've looked everywhere, and I still can't find the dog. I can't believe that it didn't respond to the call of the rubber chicken. Maybe I just didn't squeeze it hard enough. <gasps> Jimmy, there it is again! <sighs> well, if it isn't my two prime suspects in the lost doggy case, mind if I ask you a few last questions? Why not? Where were you the first time you heard the doggy barking? We were sitting here, playing Roblox. <laughs> Roblox, you say? Could it have been Pet Simulator 2 or Adopt Me? And you two are always talking about adopting a dog for your avatar. Seems like a whole lot of talk about doggies to me, hmm? No, we weren't playing any of those games. And it doesn't really work that way in Roblox. Oh, well, in that case, Oh, I give up. Nobody's ever gonna find that dog, and you can forget about the reward anyway. Wait a second, there it is again! It sounds like the dog is barking in your pocket. What? There's nothing in my pocket but my phone. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna show you my phone. Isn't it cool? It's got buttons and everything, and you can pick the sound of your ringtone. And I picked mine to be a dog. Draco. Oh. <laughs> so that dog barking was just your phone's ringtone? Oh, Jimmy, let's go outside and find the lost dog out there. Uh, ooh, I'll grab the rubber chicken. Uh, well, isn't it cool? Well, if my phone's been making that noise, <gasps> that means somebody's been calling me this whole time. <laughs> There's six messages. <laughs> Jimmy, you better come down soon or we'll be leaving without you. Ha. Good luck getting him to come down on time. Let me remind you that he was late for the bus every day this year. Yeah, but this isn't just a school day. This is camping day. And he's been so excited for this trip. Here, let me try. Oh, Jimmy, get down here in two minutes or we're leaving without you. No camperoni for Jim Marooney. Wait, hold on, don't go anywhere. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, and don't forget my bag. Okay, you got it. Um, what was the bag you wanted again? The pink bag with the camping gear inside it. Oh, the pink one, got it. Don't go anywhere. Jimmy, don't forget my pink bag. Well, I have an idea, Ellie. How about next time you remember to bring your own bag? Ah, here we go. Gotcha, the precious pink bag. Wait a second, does she want this pink bag? Or this pink bag? Or this one, this one, this one, this one. Oh, Jimmy. Okay, I'm coming, give me a minute. Oh, leave it to Ellie to make everything so complicated. Which bag should I choose? I guess to decide, I'm gonna have to use the scientific method. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. this pink bag has gotta go. Looks like I'm picking this one. Good old eeny, meeny, it never fails. Come in, Coach Rocco. It's camping time, and that means we're so totally ready to get started on my list of must-do camping activities. 
Let's see what we have here. We've got snorkeling, of course, and fishing, ooh, making campfires, eating hot dogs, going hiking. Hot dogs? Did you say that the hot dogs were ready? No, the hot dogs aren't ready yet, Jimmy. We just got here. But the hot dogs are going to taste really, really good after we take a dip in the pool. Mm, pool time. Now you're speaking my language. I can't wait to show you all my new tricks. Mega cannonballs, underwater spin rooney. And I've been practicing my snorkeling, and I can't wait to show you. But first, can you go get the pink bag? It has all our swim gear in it. I'm on it. Here you go, Ellie. One pink bag, as requested. You know, this thing was a lot heavier than I thought it would be. Who knew swim gear weighed so much? Good thing I got my old Jimmy muscles to help me out. Jimmy, my bag is fuchsia, not pink. Fuchsia? Well, excuse me for picking up the wrong bag when everything in your room is pink. It's impossible. Besides, what's fuchsia anyway? Fuchsia is also a different color, different to pink. And for your information, my room is not just pink. There's coral and watermelon, and there's fuchsia too. Watermelon? <laughs> I think you've officially lost it. You're trying to tell me that watermelon is a color? Nuh-uh, it's a vegetable, <laughs> duh. Well, what about orange, huh? It's a fruit. Hey, Coach Rocco. Hey, just in time. I just finished cleaning the pool and it's ready for some snorkeling action. Except for one thing, a certain silly someone who shall remain nameless Got the fuchsia bag instead of the pink bag, and this one's filled with all the Halloween costumes. Oh, silly me. So I accidentally grabbed fuchsia instead of pink. Have you ever even heard of that color, Coach Rocco? Yeah, fuchsia's totally different than pink. I told you. Well, let's see what we got in here. Let's be resourceful campers. See if we could use anything in here for snorkeling. We have these uh, uh, science glasses. <gasps> Goggles. Uh, straws. Oh, Give me those. Oh, and some flippers. Oh, no, false alarm, they're clown shoes. Totally awesome. Yep, Ellie, looks like we don't have anything in here we could use for snorkeling. It's okay. You know, I guess I'll just scratch off snorkeling off the itinerary. <clears throat> Who's ready for some snorkeling? What exactly am I looking at here? It's my snorkeling gear. Come on, don't you think this will be perfect for the pool? Uh, well, how can I put this nicely? <laughs> it, it is resourceful, but will it work in the water? Uh, I think not, Jimmy. Aw. Hey, but cheer up. There's plenty of other activities we can do. Huh, camping activities with my Halloween bag? This should be interesting. Well, can I keep the clown shoes? Okay, now guess who I am? Um, are you a construction worker? Yes, that's it! How did you guess? Was it my expert hammering? No, it was more of your construction hat and your construction vest. All right, my turn to dress up. Let's see what costumes they have left in the bag. Oh boy, the spookiest costume ever! All right, Coach Rocco, guess what I am? All right. I got this. Let's see. You're a fluttering baby butterfly. Of course, you wore that costume last year. A butterfly? How many times do we have to go through this? I am not a butterfly. Yes, you are. I have a picture of the exact butterfly that you look like. Now, hold on. I'll go grab the picture. Ellie, can you get out here? I need someone to tell Coach Rocco that I'm not a butterfly. I'm a dark, spooky vampire.
Huh, what's wrong, Ellie? You look a little sad. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just none of my fun camping activities are going according to plan. I mean, the snorkeling was a disaster, the cooking was a fiasco, and don't even get me started on the fishing trip. We had to use a cowboy lasso instead of fishing poles. Wait a second. You think today is going badly? But just think of all the funny things that have happened. This has become one of the most memorable camping trips ever. Really? Yeah, I mean, well, just think about how I had to use clown shoes as flippers. That was so silly. <laughs> Definitely one of the funniest moments of the summer. Yeah, I wish I got a picture of you with that snorkeling gear. <laughs> Plus, now I know the difference between pink and fuchsia. Oh, oh, good, I'm glad you're both here. I have a picture of the butterfly right here. Look at that. Coach, what color is that bag, Jimmy? Well, pink, definitely pink, not watermelon. Coach, that bag looks really familiar. Where did you get it? Uh, well, it was in your room. I, I knew you'd put the camping gear in it, so I brought it. Uh... Wait a second, so you had the camping gear this entire time and we had to go fishing with a cowboy lasso and I could have had so much more practice with my snorkeling if I had the right snorkeling gear. Well, I didn't get enough sleep last night. I usually get 12 hours, and last night I only got 11. I had to get up and drink water. I had my feet were itchy. I was oh. itching my feet. All right, open wide. Let's take a look at those teeth. Good. Oh, what's that? Okay. Um. Okay, Jimmy. Now I'm gonna use this to get to the back of your teeth. Drill! Oh no, don't use the drill! Stop squirming, Jimmy. Let the dentist get her work done. Uh, it's not a drill. They're dental tweezers and they don't hurt a bit. Okay. Wait a sec. Is that the gummy pair? No. Hey, don't throw that away. I was saving that for later. Okay, Jimmy, you're all done. I'm happy to report that you have no cavities, but I want you to start flossing twice a day. Yes! Passed with flying colors, acquitted on all charges. Best dentist appointment ever. Hey, can I keep Mr. Bear? See, Jimmy, the dentist is nothing to worry about, and you can never take too much care of those chompers. Isn't that right, Doc? <laughs> uh, now, who's next, Ellie? Uh-uh. Uh Actually, you're up next, Coach Rocco. Uh, I, just, I just had a checkup. Uh, two years ago, you're overdue. <gasps> Take a seat, Coach Rocco. You want to hold Mr. Bear? Uh, there must be some mistake. My teeth are fine. Here, watch me take a bite of this apple. <laughs> Come on, Coach. You have to get your teeth checked twice a year. Let's be a good example. Yeah, Coach. Like you said, you can never take too much care of your chompers. Wait a second. I think I see what's going on here. Coach Rocco is scared of the dentist. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not scared of the dentist. Ah! Coach, Coach Rocco? Rocco? Okay, Sparkle Squad, if you want to help Coach Rocco get his checkup, then give me a big thumbs up. All right, guys, I think I have a plan. Follow me. Come this way. <laughs> yeah. Coach, I know you're in here somewhere. Come on, let's get this over with. I knew people were scared of the dentist, but I never had to chase anyone around before. Mm-hmm. Come on, Coach. All right, I guess we're gonna have to do this the hard way. You know, Coach is a total neat freak. He's always in here constantly cleaning. So if we make a mess, I'm sure he'll come out. <laughs> oh, so you're saying I should take all the dirty dishes out of the sink? Oh, good one. Maybe I should put some of this garbage on the counter. Oh no, I knocked over the water bottle. Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> Come on, coach. This place is so messy. Oh yeah? Are we gonna have to kick this up a notch? All right, I'm bringing out the sticky stuff. Whipped cream. You can't whip cream without sprinkles. <gasps> oh my goodness. This is way more fun than giving checkups. <laughs> Come on, Coach! You know what? I think we're gonna need the PS de la resistance. Eggs. Now it'll be super, super messy if I crack all these eggs all over the counter. Three, two, one. No way, 
Please stop, stop, not the eggs. Please, anything but the eggs. Just please stop making a mess, you win. So you'll do the checkup? Yes, anything you want. Okay, great, I can do it right here. I have my tools already. All right, all right, but before you begin, could you just clean this up first? I can't relax in a messy kitchen. Okay, fine. We did make this mess after all, but then no more excuses, okay? Okay, thank you, thank you so much, but please start with that whipped cream. It's making me nauseous. All right. <laughs> Wow, you know Kotraco really well. Yeah, you know, there are just some things that work all the time. And you always have to be one step ahead, right, Coach? 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 Ellie, it's okay. We, you know, we can just do the checkup another time. No! We are doing this checkup today! If it's the last thing I do, I'm gonna get Coach in that checkup chair. <laughs> If anyone can catch Coach Rocco, it's me, the smartest kid in school. And this new plan may be my smartest one yet. Step one, leave a trail of popcorn leading to the couch. Check. Step two, put on Coach Rocco's favorite cartoon. Check. And step three, leave out a large glass of iced coffee and the rest of the popcorn here on the table waiting for him. Once he comes in, he'll smell the smells wafting into his nose and he won't be able to resist. It'll lead him right to the couch where we'll catch him and bring him to the dentist. By my calculations, he should be here in about 10 seconds. This is gonna work like a charm. <laughs> Popcorn! <laughs> a trail of popcorn! If it's one thing I've learned in life, a trail of popcorn always leads to more popcorn! <laughs> Ooh, and iced coffee too. Mm! And I love this program, that silly dragon! <laughs> Look at that kid! <laughs> yeah, I get him! Get him! <laughs> Coach Rocco, come on. Oh, you got your tools? Already. This will be so fast, Coach Rocco. It won't hurt a bit. Jimmy, where's Coach Rocco? Beats me. You got the wrong guy. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Oh, this will be the last time, I promise. Come on. Coach. Hmm, well, no use in letting this go to waste. <laughs> oh, dragon, you've done it again. I can't believe that my TV popcorn plan didn't work. Yeah, and my messy kitchen plan didn't work either. And I can't think of any more plans, so <laughs> Coach Rocco might just have to get away with this. Is this a common occurrence around here? What do you mean? I mean, do you guys always have to come up with crazy plans to get Coach Rocco to do things? Uh, yeah, duh. Like, what else do we do? <laughs> oh, funny running into you here, Coach. And I see you're still enjoying my popcorn. Okay, okay, I give up. Dentist, please help my tooth, it's killing me. Okay. Ow! Oh, yeah, you sound bad. Here, let's take a look. Ow! <laughs> please tell me you can help my beautiful chompers. I think it's this popcorn that's making my tooth hurt. Okay, give me the popcorn. Coach, mm. Coach. No more popcorn. Yeah. Thank you. Listen to the dentist, and time will just fly by, okay? Just relax. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, I see the problem. How much popcorn did you eat? A lot. Yeah, uh, this is gonna take a while. You two might wanna step out. Oh, uh, okay. Bye, Coach Rocco. Uh, Goodbye. Here's Mr. Bear if you Don't need him. leave me! <laughs> Take this, Jimmy! <laughs> oh, now you asked for it. Oh, you just had to get my fort all wet, didn't you? Well, you've asked for it now. Here comes a special delivery. Ah. Ha ha. Hey, you got my sneakers wet. <laughs> got another one coming for you. No! no. Oh. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Looks like it's time to bring out the ultimate weapon. Surprise! 
Hey, Sparkle Squad, am I glad to see you. You won't believe how I got here. So you know when you have one of those water fights and they kind of get a little bit out of hand? Well, it all started when... Whew. Thanks for helping me with all the recycling, Ellie. Of course, Coach Rocco. Me and Jimmy learned about how important recycling is in science class. Right, Jimmy? Ah, uh, you guys, I'm being attacked by a giant cube. Ah, uh, help, I'm being eaten by cardboard monsters. <laughs> Jimmy, would you stop goofing around? We need to get this recycling done. Yeah, the sooner we can get this recycling done, the sooner we can get back to video games. Uh, more video games? Don't you guys want to do something outside? Look at all this cardboard. Why don't you make cardboard forts? Ooh, like a box fort challenge. Yeah, that could be fun. I think I'll make King Jimmy's Mega Castle, the one box fort to rule them all. Good idea. Let's make this a competition. And whoever makes the best cardboard box fort may win a prize. A box fort challenge? Between me and Jimmy? Oh, I think I know how this is gonna turn out. <laughs> okay, Sparkle Squad, if you wanna see what kind of box forts me and Jimmy make, give me a big thumbs up. All right, Jimmy, you're going down. Oh yeah, in your dreams, that prize is as good as mine. <laughs> All right, Ellie, I have the supplies you requested. Pink and yellow paints, a glue stick, and construction paper. Now, how are you gonna use all of this? Oh, well, I was gonna use the pink and yellow paint for the walls of my box fort, and then I was gonna use the construction paper to make decorative flowers to put all over the outside. Ooh, the decorative and creative approach. I like it. Well, I'm gonna see how Jimmy's doing. Jimmy's box fort? <laughs> I wonder what that looks like, too. He probably hasn't even started it. Too busy doing cannonballs in the pool. I think that Ellie here has got this challenge victory locked up. Here you go, Jimmy, just as you requested. Cookies and a basketball. Not sure how that's gonna work, but we'll see what happens. Oh, perfect. Now these cookies are chocolate chip, correct? That's uh, very important. Yes, just as you requested. Not sure how you're gonna use those to build, but... Well, technically, the basketball is for spinner and the cookies, well, they're for eating. So I guess they're not technically involved in the building process. <laughs> just as I thought, Jimmy, you're goofing around again. Now I just saw Ellie and she's taking this challenge very seriously. Keep this up and she's gonna win yet again. <laughs> oh, oh no, I can't let Ellie win another challenge, especially not a box fort challenge. I'm gonna need someone to help me build my fort. Oh, but who should I ask? I know, I'll ask Ellie. She helps everyone with everything. And then I'll tell her that I'll split the prize with her. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> oh, Jimmy, you are one smart cookie. Hey, these are chocolate chunk, not chocolate chip. Gosh, she's so pretty, okay. Yep, doors working just fine. Fire and it'll touch me. Oh yeah. Oh, Ellie Sparkles, fancy that running into you here. What a coinky dink. <laughs> Jimmy, I just saw you a few minutes ago. So, how's your box fort coming along? Oh, well, it's uh, coming along fine and dandy. Yep, it certainly is uh, dandy. Okay, Jimmy, you just used the word dandy twice, and that's a little sus, even for you. What happened? Well, I was thinking about the competition. Maybe we don't need to compete, you know? Isn't there enough competition in this world? Don't you think it would be better if we teamed up and worked together on our fort? And that way we could split the prize 50-50. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Oh, so predictable. You haven't even started your box fort yet, have you? Oh, well, it's not my fault. I was all ready to start, but then Coach Rocco came in with cookies and my basketball, and he really distracted me. You know, I should just tell you to forget about help from me, but... For once, I think it would actually be fun to win a challenge together. So, yes, I will help you with your box fort, but only if you promise to be a good teammate. I promise, I promise. Trust me, Ellie, you are not gonna regret this. Let's go. Will I? Oh, my God. 
All right, almost done on my end, Jimmy. How about your half? Be with you in just a sec. About to hit the new world record for this game. And high score! Jimmy Rooney wins again! Whoa, look at my box fort. It's beautiful. I'm sure to win the prize now. You? You mean we, right? Because we're splitting the prize 50-50? Oh, well, about that. When I said 50-50, I think what I really meant was 70-30. 70, 70 Jimmy, 30 Ellie. Well, how is that fair when I made this whole thing almost entirely by myself? Hey, I helped. Kinda, sorta. Okay, it was mostly you, but a deal's a deal. And also, this is Jimmy's castle, remember? See, King Jimmy, flags don't lie. Oh yeah? Well, I built this box fort all by myself and I can take it down just as easily. Whoa, 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 let's not do anything rash here. <laughs> Say, uh, maybe we go 60-40? It's too late for that now, Jimmy. <clears throat> hey, that crosses a line, you know. Taking down the Jimmy flag, that's going way too far. That does it. I officially challenge you, Ellie Sparkles, and your fort to a water balloon fight. A water balloon fight? I've been preparing for this moment my entire life. I'll see you by the pool, Jimmy. <laughs> <sighs> Are you okay, Flag? Oh, would you look at these? Now this is creativity. I like it. Ambush! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Coach Rocco, I'm so sorry, we didn't mean it. Oh, you got caught in the crossfire. Well, there's an explanation for this. It was all Ellie's fault. What are you talking about, Jimmy? You were holding a gun, too. Ooh. I can't leave you two alone for two minutes without you fighting over something. Now, why don't you head inside and have a snack, and I'll see what you made here. Aww. Run along. All right. Oh, the nerve. Would you look at that? Oh, I see. Yep, the paper flowers pool. Very creative. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Now that's nifty. <laughs> Let's test the coziness. Ooh. Nice and roomy. You'll never know if I take a quick nap now. They're having a snack, enjoying themselves. I'll just uh, catch a few Z's. <laughs> Coach Rocco, where is he? It's been two hours already. Huh, I don't know where he could be. Hey Ellie, I've been thinking about that fight we had earlier and I just wanted to say that, I'm sorry, I probably should have helped you out more while you were building my fort. Aw, oh, well, it's okay, Jimmy. I probably shouldn't have thrown that many water balloons at your fort anyway. Well, since the forts are so cool, what do you say that we start playing in them again? But this time, no water battles. That sounds like a good deal to me. Do you hear that? It sounds like it's coming from... <gasps> uh, Coach Rocco! What do you say we just get a blanket for him inside? Oh, sure. Hey, want to bring this inside too and we can play video games in it? Oh, that sounds so much fun! Where am I? Ellie? Jimmy? Have I fallen into another dimension? Maybe I'm king of the rabbits here. I can finally eat all those turnips I've been dreaming about. We have tea with tiny little mice. Hello, yes, I'll have another crumpet. What are crumpets? Ellie, help! What are crumpets? Yes, that's another sale for Jimmy. Ka-ching! What's up, Sparkle Squad? We're doing this yard sale challenge on Roblox to see what old possessions we can sell for cash. Yeah, check this out. We just sold our old scooter. <laughs> Is that all? I hate to brag, but I just managed to sell my private helicopter. Are you guys really playing yard sale on that game? Yeah, we're trying to sell some stuff to get some extra Robux, but Jimmy is, of course, not playing by the rules. Have you ever thought of having a yard sale in real life? Then you could raise some money for some charities. 
Nah, nice try, Coach Rocco, but I see through your little ruse. You're just trying to get us to clean our rooms and sell all our best stuff. Not gonna happen. <laughs> hey, what's the matter, Jimmy? Scared nobody's gonna wanna buy stuff from your stinky bedroom? <laughs> For your information, I have loads of stuff that people would line up around the block to buy. Way more than you. That's it. We're doing a yard sale challenge. All right, boys and girls, if you want to see who wins and raises the most money for charity, give me a big thumbs up. <laughs> Still wear this and this. I love that. But, oh, oh, I don't know why I ever bought this. Yard sale it goes. Hey, Ellie, got all my stuff ready. But, you know, I'm really having trouble deciding what I don't need anymore. Yeah, who'd have thought that it would be so hard getting rid of stuff that you have? What do you have? Well, found my very first pair of pool floaties. <laughs> Gosh, I haven't worn these things in years. Now they're still in pretty good condition, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, perfect for a young swimmer. Well, that's true, but oh, me and my floaties have had such great memories together. Uh, what if I need them someday, right? Like I go swimming, you never know. And hey. Check this out. Ha, they still fit. <laughs> oh, Ellie, I can't get rid of these. Okay, but what about this? Oh, my Halloween costume from four years ago. Oh, I can't get rid of that. I mean, sure, I've only worn it one time, but isn't it nice to just know you have a clown wig handy? Like, hey, what if you need it someday? Then you can just borrow it. Easy peasy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if a clown wig will come in handy anytime soon. Yard sale pilot goes. Okay, but look, here's what I'm having trouble with. My hot pink raincoat. You see, it's a little bit uncomfortable, and when I put it on, I kind of feel like a robot, so I don't really know what to do with it. Hey, that thing looks kind of vintage. Mm -hmm. I bet that could go for a lot of money. Here, let me check. Hang on. Hot pink full length raincoat. Oh, Ellie, check it out! 50 bucks just for that jacket! Oh, you gotta sell that thing. Easy decision. So long, pink raincoat. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, Coach Rocco, tell Jimbo out there that we're selling something for 50 bucks. <laughs> oh, uh, and a clown wig. Yes. <laughs> oh, nope, can't sell these. Oh, what about this? Oh, no, this is so cool. I definitely can't sell this either. Oh, Casey and Ellie, always coming up with these overcomplicated ideas to make my life so difficult. Hey, Jimmy, how's your uh, yard sale collecting coming along? Awful! I can't find a single thing to sell. It turns out that just about every possession I have is completely irreplaceable. Oh, really? Well, what about this racket? I've never seen you play tennis, not even once. Oh, well, who says a tennis racket just has to be used for tennis? I use it as a plate for my snacks. Like so. Ta-da! Sometimes I even try to catch them in my mouth. <laughs> well, what about this cardboard? You never need this. Are you crazy? That's Jimmy too. Do you have any idea how many jams this thing has gotten me out of? Don't worry, Jimmy too. You're not going anywhere. I'll protect you from Coach Rocco. Oh, well, just so you know, Casey and Ellie have found a coat that's worth $50. So if you want to win this challenge, you better start finding stuff to sell quick. Oh, $50? For a silly old jacket? That's insane. Can you imagine how much my lucky basketball must be worth then? It must be worth like $75. Well, more like uh, $5. $5, you say, huh? Well, sold. And that's one item for the bin. Coach Rocco, I hope you have more boxes because we're going into business. Oh, that's the spirit, Jimmy. Well, just remember to sell things you don't use, not everything. All right? Sorry, Coach Rocco, but everything must go. Sell, sell, sell. You hear that, Ellie and Casey? You are totally going down. Hey, Coach Rocco, how much do you think we could get for my bed? Thank <laughs> you.
stuff that Jimmy's selling? Oh, he's selling his basketball hoop and his Jimmy 2 cutout? Woof, he is really taking this competition seriously. Don't be fooled by this typical Jimmy behavior, Casey. I mean, this is classic competitive Jimmy. Who in their right mind would give away their bed to win a challenge? <laughs> Let's focus on our mission. We're out here in the yard looking for useful things to sell. All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh, what do we have here? <laughs> Attention class, this is Coach Rocco. Please take all your favorite cleaning supplies and bring them straight to the pool. <laughs> I'm so funny. Hey, Ellie, what do you think? Yard sale pile? Wait, but that's Coach Rocco's most cherished item. I mean, what else would he use to yell at Jimmy with then? Hmm. Yes, you're right. For sale signs everywhere. Oh. Jimmy, what have you done to the kitchen? I can't find anything. I hope you have a good explanation for this. Well, of course I do. Don't you remember? It's the yard sale for charity. Everything must go. No, not everything must go. If you want to sell everything in your room, that's one thing, but not everything in the kitchen. What am I supposed to wash the dishes with? Well, why don't you clean the dishes with this? It looks like it could clean just about anything. I can't wash the dishes with that. That's a duster. Oh, well, if you don't need this, perfect. Another $3. Great, now I can't even dust anymore. I know, how about you dust with this instead? I can't dust with this, This you make pizzas with this. Hmm, you can't dust with this either? Huh, no matter, into the donation box you go. Thank you for your charity, Coach Rocco. I'll see you at the yard sale. Okay, I'm pleased to announce I have the results. Uh, Ellie, you first. Casey and I would be happy to report that we have gathered $147 worth of old possessions for the yard sale. <laughs> uh, it would have been a little more, but Ellie couldn't quite convince me to get rid of my old collection of number two pencils. <laughs> I've been kind of collecting them since like the second grade, so maybe next year. <laughs> Good job, girls. That's $147 going to a great cause. Jimmy, you're next. This year, the old Jimmeroonie was able to raise $1,723 in old possessions, which uh, by my calculations is just a little bit more. Congratulations, Jimmy. But I had one question for you. Where are you gonna sleep now that you're gonna sell your mattress? <laughs> hey, Jimbo, I got a pretty comfy pool float do you want. Sell it to you for five bucks, what do you say? <laughs> Um, that's a big no thank you, Casey. As for what I'm gonna sleep on tonight, hmm, well, I'll figure that out later. After I'm done celebrating my victory, the old Jimmeroonie wins again. Wow, Jimmy, we're so jealous. Especially since the winner has to do all the packing for the yard sale. <laughs> Congrats, Jimmy. <laughs> Wait, you mean I have to pack up all this stuff by myself? Oh, don't worry about it, I'll help you. Now help me move this uh, basketball hoop here. Oh, wait, hold on a second. I actually was hoping to play a quick game of basketball, you know, to celebrate my victory. Oh, it's too late for that, Jimmy. You've already donated this basketball hoop and you donated this lucky basketball of yours. I must say I'm impressed by your generosity. Uh-oh, did I do that? Oh, well, uh, I may have donated these things, sure, but I was hoping this could be kind of a temporary donation. Or the kind of donation where, sure, yeah, I've donated it and I'm charitable and all, but I still get to use it whenever I want. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy, no takesy-backsies. <laughs> oh, but wait, what if someone donates the basketball back to me? That's still charitable, right? What's up, Sparkle Squad? Today is the first day of school. That means I'm super excited to get started with another school year. Isn't that right, Jimmy? Speak for yourself. I can't believe summer's over already. Farewell, sweet, warm, glorious, sunny summer. Hey there, Ellie. Hey there, Jimmy. Hey, don't bother catching the bus today. I think we're going to stay active and walk to school every morning. Walk to school? Oh, how could this get any worse? I can't believe summer's over already. Hey, don't worry about it, Jimmy. Just think of all the fun we'll be having in school, like seeing our old friends and meeting new ones. Oh, I'm gonna miss the swimming pool so much. 
Well, what about all the fun we'll have in gym class and recess? Come on, that's fun. Not as much fun as having a water balloon fight or drinking some lemonade. Oh, and day you get to do all the tests and the quizzes. That's fun too, right? Ah, I can't take it anymore. Summer can't be over, not yet. Question, what day does summer officially end? The last day of summer is September 20th and the first day of autumn is September 21st. Perfect. Ellie, could you do me a favor and just uh, hold this for a second? You see, if summer isn't technically over until September 20th, then Jimmy isn't starting school until September 20th either. That's right, I'm gonna have some more summer fun. I'll just go ahead and uh, take that. Hey everyone, Jimmy's summer fun continues. That's right, tell everyone at school that I won't be back until after September 20th, when summer's officially over. See you on the 21st, Wee! Let me get this straight. You're saying to catch Jimmy, we gotta think like Jimmy. Exactly. That's why I built this lemonade stand. Lemonade is Jimmy's favorite summer drink. Once he comes over for a cup, we'll reveal our disguises and bring him back to school. Oh, brilliant idea! <laughs> now, what should we call this lemonade stand? Rocco and Ellie's lemonade? No, we can't know that it's really us, remember? We have to pick names that are completely different from our real ones. Just follow my lead. I think I hear him now. What's up, Jim Aroonies? Just when you thought the summer was over, Jimmy's bringing it back. From now on, it's gonna be nothing besides water slides, water balloon fights, and swimming pools all day long. Lemonade, get your lemonade here. Lemonade, my summertime favorite. Hey, you two, you got yourself a customer. Ooh, a nice cold glass of lemonade would really hit the spot. Hey, you two, what's the name of your lemonade stand? Oh, I am, I am glad you asked. We are called... Uh, Sacco's, uh, Chef Sacco's Lemonade Stand. Oh. <laughs> Chef Sacco's Lemonade, huh? That name sounds familiar. Eh, maybe not. All right, I'll take a glass of your coldest lemonade. Oh, uh, one glass of lemonade coming right up. <laughs> oh, good choice, monsieur. Uh, if you are finished with your lemonade, maybe you would like to go see where we make it in the cafeteria of the road. <laughs> well, one cold glass for you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And I would like to propose a toast to summer. May it never end. Ew. What is this? A mustache? Oh. Oh. What? Oh, oh, those pesky mustaches, they're all over the place. Here, sir, I'm so sorry. Let me replace that for you. Mustache free, of course. <laughs> Wait a second. Coach Rocco, Ellie, I already told you, I'm not going back to school until after September 20th, once summer officially ends. So you can just knock off all these plans to try to get me back. Oh. Jimmy, wait! Jimmy may have gotten away last time, but this time our plan is foolproof. Let me show you. Me and Coach Rocco have made a trail of all of Jimmy's favorite summer toys. <laughs> and they all lead to this giant hamster ball. And can you guess what's inside the hamster ball? Jimmy's favorite water blaster. <laughs> he won't be able to resist that. And when he goes inside to get it, we'll zip it up and we've caught him. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, I think I hear him now. Come on, I'm tight. <laughs> The summer of Jimmy continues. What should I do next? So many possibilities. I could go camping or maybe go on the water slide and... Hey, look, it's my basketball. I've been looking all over for that. Oh, wait, Timmy the T-Rex. Oh, this is one of my favorite summer toys too. And my Frisbee? Wow, all my toys are laid out for me. Now all that I'm missing is my... Water Blaster! I've been looking everywhere for this thing. How did it get inside this giant hamster ball? Huh, guess I just gotta go inside and get it and then it's water blaster time for Jimmy. <laughs> gotcha! All right, now we just gotta pump this baby up and roll him back to school. Coach <laughs> Rocco, Ellie, was this your plan the whole time? Come on, Jimmy, quit playing around. We gotta roll you back to school. Yep, we just gotta pump this up and roll him away. <laughs> All right, one more pump. All right, good as new. 
Awesome! Let's get rolling. We have to hurry if we're gonna make it to school on time. Now, which way is it? Hi, Jimmy. Uh, where are we? Uh, let, let me look up the directions on my phone. <laughs> look at this. Flip action here. <laughs> I've had this baby for 15 years and it hasn't let me down yet. Now I just have to figure out where the apps are and maybe it'll give us a map. I haven't seen a phone that old in forever. I don't think it has any apps. <sighs> Wait a second. I've got an idea. Freedom! The summer of Jimmy's not over yet. Can't catch me. Time for some more summer fun. Come back here! Jimmy, get back here. perfect summer day is complete without a little action in the pool. Isn't that right, Mr. Floaty? Everyone else thought that summer was over, but this is the life. Hey, a pool skimmer? How did that get in there? Oh no, Coach Rocco and Ellie. Give it up, Jimmy. He can't run anywhere now. Time to go to school. Well, I may not be able to run, but I can still swim, and Jimmy's the fastest swimmer in the whole school, so good luck catching me. Oh, oh. Ow. Come on, let's get him. Oh, hold on, Coach. You know, I'm getting pretty tired of chasing Jimmy around. And if we don't leave now, we're gonna be late for school for sure. Okay, Jimmy, you win. <laughs> yes, Jimmy wins again. Nice try, guys, but nothing stopped Jimmy. Although I gotta say, Ellie, you did do a pretty good job trying to get me this time. Okay, I guess I'll see you after school, Jimmy. It's just a shame that you're gonna have to miss out on all the fun at school. <sighs> fun? At school? What, what, what kind of fun are you talking about? Let's see, there's sports in gym class, seeing all our friends, meeting all the new teachers, having a big back to school lunch. Oh, and recess, ah, oh, wow, there's so many things to look forward to. But I guess I'll just see you later. Huh, I guess I do kind of miss my friends and playing basketball in the school gym. Hey, wait a second, does the cafeteria still serve tacos on Tuesday? Yep, it is Taco Tuesday, but I guess I'll just have to miss it. <laughs> See you after school, Jimmy. Bye! This was supposed to be the summer of Jimmy, but I can't miss Taco Tuesday. Hold on, guys. I'm coming with you. <laughs> All right, Jimmy, let's get you out of the pool. Can you help me out, Coach? Yes, now come on. Stop. Coach, pull! Help me! Help me! Go, <laughs> pet! I'm a professional doggy paddler. Now, I learned this in school, Jimmy, so you should go, too. You learn, look at this, look at these moves. Huh? He's gonna make us late for school. It's yeah. very efficient. <sighs> Help me. Oh. <sighs> Ooh, Skylar, I just got these new matching hats. I got a yellow one, and maybe we can match them with some of my clothes. I got this new jacket, too. <gasps> that was gonna make me. Oops, sorry about that. Guess I kind of lost control of my basketball there. Oh, hey, Skylar. I didn't know you were coming over today. Are you here to learn the old Jimmy Spinneroonie? No, we're just modeling some outfits. What are you up to, Jimmy? Ooh, you look very good in this, Jimmy. <laughs> L-O-L, Skylar, but that's a big no thank you. And besides, I can't hang out with you two anyway. I already got plans, really big plans. Oh, yeah? What are you up to? Um, uh... Well, I'm having a friend come over, too. Yeah, you're not the only one with friends around here, Ellie. And his name is... Donnie, yeah, yeah, Donnie, the coolest kid in school. Well, actually, second coolest, of course, after me. Anyway, he should be here any minute now, so I better start uh, getting ready for him. <laughs> Adios, amigos. That's odd. <laughs> Jimmy's never mentioned to Donnie before. Well, maybe he's new in school. Well, what do you think of this? Oh, that looks really good. She gets some pants. Oh, I have these overalls. You can match me. Oh, yay. <laughs> 
Coach Rocco, Coach Rocco, I need your help. I'm busy, Jimmy. I'm cooking my Coach Rocco super hot hot dogs for lunch. Oh no, not those. Your special sauce is always way too spicy. I can't even stomach it. Besides, I got something that's way cooler than hot dogs. It's a new game. It's called the costume game. Here, you go first. All right, and if anyone asks for the rest of the day, your name is Donnie and you're my best friend from school. Sound good? Uh, it sounds like I'm trying to trick Ellie again, game. Well, I don't have time for it, Jimmy. I gotta make these and make sure that they're delectable. Oh no, what am I gonna do now? Hmm, well, I guess if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. No, definitely needs more sauce. All right, Skylar, this is where we're going to be doing karaoke. I've even got the camera ready so that everybody can hear our beautiful singing. Ellie, you pick a song. I'm ready for everyone to meet Skylar the pop star. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, what do we have here? Trying to pick a song, huh? Well, how about something cool, like some rock and roll? Ooh, that does sound cool. Hey, what's your name? The name's Donnie. Just blew in from the other side of town. You might know me from school as Jimmy's BFF. The gymster invited me over to shoot some pool, take a few dives in the swimming pool, and also to shoot a few hoops. Just play along with it, Skylar. He does this about twice a week. Oh, hi, Donnie. Um, I'm Ellie, and this is Skylar, and we're also Jimmy's friends. Speaking of, where is Jimmy? I haven't seen him all day, and he did invite you to come over, didn't he? Um, well, actually, uh, Jimmy is down at the convenience store, you see. He's picking me up some of my favorite crispy, cheesy snacks. What a nice guy that Jimmy is. Well, how will you do some karaoke with us? You can even pick first. What song would you like? Ooh, that's easy. This might be the greatest song of all time. Great. What's it called? It's called My Best Friend and it's about the coolest kid in the world and all the cool things he does that make him so cool. And you can even sing along with me. And a one, and a two, and a... Who's the coolest kid around, the coolest in the whole school? And everybody in the world knows he rules. What's his no, name? Jimmy! Jimmy! That's right, you know this song. And when he wears his orange shirt, everybody's like, wow, that's a really cool shirt. I'm really jealous of your shirt. What's his name? Jimmy! That's right. This is the Jimmy song, and he's my best friend, and he has been all along. Coach Rocco, nice to see you. You can join us on verse three. Who's Coach Rocco's favorite student? Because he is so good at gym, and everybody's jealous of his sweet, amazing basketball skills. What's his name? Ellie! Yeah, wait, no, no, it's Jimmy. Jimmy, Coach Rocco, this is a song about Jimmy and how he's the coolest kid in the world, obviously. Uh, <clears throat> what I mean to say is, uh, Hey there, Coach. You think you might have messed up a lyric or two, <laughs> but don't sweat it. We all make mistakes. Oh, well, thank you, Donnie. I like this guy, Donnie. How about you teach me the song then? Let's go, let's go. Happy to, Coach Arino. All right. And when he wears his awesome hat, everybody's like, wow, look at that, because it is a really cool hat. Oh, what's his name? Ellie! No! <laughs> Mashed potato. Skylar shoots and scores. Come by, Skylar. Not bad, not bad. Not a bad shot at all. We're beginners. It's just too bad that Jimmy's not here to give you some pointers. Actually, last time I went against Jimmy in basketball, I beat him by three points. Maybe Jimmy could learn some lessons from Skylar. <laughs> uh, <laughs> good one, but uh, everyone knows that the only reason Jimmy lost that game was because he had a pebble in his shoe. Obviously, he wasn't able to even do the spin rooney What is a spin rooney What? You've never heard of the Jimmy spin rooney What, do you live under a rock or something? It's just a silly old move that Jimmy likes to do. Here, I'll show you. He goes, I'm Jimmy, I'm Jimmy, I'm Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> That's your spin rooney what, are you joking me or something? You didn't even do three spins and then the Rooney. Plus, you forgot to say, spin a Rooney. Well, Scott, you want to show how it's done? Sure. All right, this I'd like to see. All right, I'll show you how it's done. One, two, three, spin a Rooney. <gasps> so awesome, <gasps> Scott. <laughs> hmm. 
So you want a spin a rooney, kid? Well, whoop de doo But that was like a six out of 10 at best. I studied under Jimmy himself. Let me show you how it's really done. One, two, three, spin a rooney! <laughs> Aww. <laughs> that was a Jimmy spin a Rooney, all right. You even missed, just like him. Oh, come on, that's not fair. I get a do-over. You two jinxed me because you were looking at me funny and it really threw off my shot and that's not fair. And, uh... <clears throat> what I meant to say was, whoopsie, guess I'm a little rusty. <laughs> but that's all right. Donnie stays cool, cool as ice, as usual. Coach Rocco, what's shaking, my man? Hey, well, I just got done cooking my Coach Rocco super hot hot dogs. <laughs> Have you seen Jimmy? It's his turn to do the dishes. Um, well, uh, funny you should mention Jimmy because I actually just ran into him and he wanted to let you know that you're the coolest coach around. Jimmy said that about me? <laughs> How flattering. <laughs> you know, I've been a little hard on him lately. Maybe I'll just finish doing the dishes. Hey, that sounds like the best idea you've ever had. Well, I gotta go, coach. I gotta go do, uh, cool guy stuff. Yeah, that'll work. Hasta la vista, el cocho. Hey there, Donnie. Skylar and I were just about to have lunch. Wanna join us? Oh, uh, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> That's a great idea. You can have one of my extra special, super hot Coach Rocco hot dogs. Do that one, it looks the spiciest. We'll put some extra hot sauce on that. Hey, uh, you know what? Uh, actually, I think I'm gonna pass on this round, Coachy. Not a big fan of the hot sauce. I like to uh, keep it cool. Uh, but everybody loves Coach Rocco's hot sauce. The only one that doesn't like it is that Jimmy. Hmm, speaking of Jimmy, where is he? I haven't seen him all day. Um, uh, did I say that I hate hot sauce? What I meant to say is that hot sauce is Donnie's favorite food ever. Yeah, give me one of those hot dogs. That's some good eating. Donnie, wow! Without your sunglasses, hair, or jacket, you look a little bit like Jimmy. Jimmy. Um. Well, you see, the funny thing about that is, is I can explain everything, and uh, come out of here. <laughs> look at him go! <laughs> that means we can have these remaining super hot hot dogs. Um, uh, I think we're good, Coach. We're gonna practice our song, right, Scarlett? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. But I made them extra special. <laughs> oh well, more for me. <laughs> What's up, Sparkle Squad? I'm just setting up this checkers tournament for me and my friend Skylar. She's coming over today, and it's gonna be so much fun. Just putting the last finishing pieces in a Aw, Jimmy! Whoops, guess that spin rooney got a little bit out of control. Oh, there's my ball. Hey, Ellie, what you up to today? Wanna play some basketball with me? I got my whole day wide open. I'm actually waiting for my friend Skylar to get here. We're having a checkers tournament. Well, checkers? Why didn't you say so? This is perfect. I'll be the third player. Checkers is actually a two-player game, Jimmy. But if you have a friend of your own, you could bring them over for a giant checkers tournament. Hey, have you got any friends you wanna invite over? Friends? Yeah, of course. Got loads of those. In fact, I have a friend coming over today. Yep, and he just so happens to be a checkers expert. Mm -hmm. So he'll be perfect for this tournament. In fact, he's not only one of the greatest checkers players in history, he's also one of the coolest kids in the whole world. So, you know, I think he'll be perfect for this. I think so too. He sounds great. I can't wait to meet him. Yep, he's my BFF. Mm -hmm. Better go get him. Be right back. See you later. 
Oh, that Jimmy. Ah, cleaning day! My favorite day of the year. I get to clean, which is one of my favorite things, and I got no kids around to distract me. <laughs> Kutrako, Kutrako, Kutrako! Ah! <laughs> Man overboard! Man overboard! Jimmy, this better be good. I was just doing my favorite things. And there's so much stuff to clean around here. Well, trust me, Coach Rocco, this is an emergency. Ellie's playing checkers. And she said that if I wanted to join the tournament, I needed to bring a friend along. The problem is all my friends are busy. So um, do you think maybe you could pretend to be someone younger for the day and be my friend so I could join the checkers tournament? Oh, I get it. You want me to play like I'm one of your school chums. That sounds like fun. And I have the perfect costume. Say goodbye to Coach Rocco. Hello to Jimmy's new best friend. <laughs> and we can get some chores done, too. Uh, well, let's not worry about the chores until we're done with checkers. Checkers first, chores later. But let's get you out of there. All right, all right. Oh, man, how did I lose to myself? <laughs> hey, Jimmy, is your friend over here yet? Let's get this tournament started. Well, he should be here any second now, yep. Hey, wait, who's that over there? Is that your friend? Oh, no. Excuse me a second. <laughs> Silly, Jimmy. Coach Rocco, what are you supposed to be? Ah, this is my costume, isn't it sweet? Coach Rocco, I told you to dress up like one of my classmates. You're wearing the same shirt that you do every day. Uh-uh, look, usually it says coach, but today it says Cody. Get it? Cody, your BFF from school. Oh, brother, look at that hair. Coach, you gotta change into a different costume before Ellie sees you. Hey, Jimmy. Are you gonna introduce me to your friend here? Oh, I guess so. Ellie, meet Cody. Hi, nice to meet you, Cody. I'm Ellie Sparkles. Uh, hi, I'm C C Cody! <laughs> Jimmy's BFF from school. <laughs> Don't worry if you forget my name, because it's written on my shirt. Isn't that clever? Mm-hmm. Hey, Cody, you sure look familiar. Are you in any of my classes? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, you probably seen me in two of my favorite classes, uh, gym and lunch. <laughs> uh, I mean, science and uh, math. <laughs> so what do you think of that Coach Rocco? He's pretty cool, huh? uh, I think that's enough introductions. I love his pole cleaning skills. All right, yeah, good. Good job, Cody. Anyway, we have a long day of activities planned, so uh, why don't we get to that? How about some checkers? Oh, I know some really cool games. Games, come on, follow me! Uh, no, we're playing checkers first, Coach Cody, come back! <laughs> wow, I wonder how long Coach Rocco can keep this up. This is gonna be an interesting day. <laughs> guys, guys, this way, I have so many games to show you. Now this one's my favorite. It's called cleaning the pool. You clean the pool and play the game at the same time. <laughs> I don't know about that, Cody. How about we just play checkers, you know, like we were supposed to? Wait, I want to learn how to play the game, Cody. See, she wants to play my cleaning games. Here, I'll show you. You just clean the pool and sing the song at the same time. Look, cleaning the pool is so cool. And now I got this bug. That means I get 20 points. Yay! Cleaning the pool is so Here, you cool. try. Cleaning the pool. Can I get this leaf? Yes, get that leaf. That's 30 points. Oh, wow. <laughs> just like this. We could play all day. No, 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 no. Great game, Cody. But uh, how about we wrap it up and go play the checkers tournament like we were supposed to? You know what? I like this cleaning game. Do you have any more, Cody? Oh, I've got tons. Let me show you this way. Okay. <laughs> I love cleaning. <laughs>
Can you believe Jimmy and Coach Rocco have been keeping this up the whole day? Actually, I can believe it. It's kind of a regular occurrence around here. Welcome to my <laughs> So what's next? Oh, I know, the cleaning the dishes game. No, no, no more cleaning. Cody, please, can we just do what we were supposed to do from the beginning and play checkers? Yep, I have the board all set up here. Who goes first? Uh, checkers, I've never heard of it. So what do you do? You move a piece and then you dust under D? Jimmy, I thought that your friend was a checkers expert. Oh, ha, 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 good one, Cody. Love that classic Cody sense of humor. Anyway, let's get to playing. I'll move the red piece here. Then I guess I'll move this piece here. Stop cleaning. I can't help it. It's so dusty. I just got to clean it. No more cleaning. That's not the point of the game. Well, if you're not cleaning, what's the point of playing the game? Uh, the point of the game is winning. Winning is the point of the game. If you're not cleaning, you're not winning. I have a great game. Wait till you see this. Cody! <laughs> this is only just the beginning. You know, it's chore day, and that means Coach will not stop cleaning the house until it's spotless. You should have been there that one time. We were up in the chimney street, Here it and is. you were oh, no, not the forks, not the forks. Okay, now here's how you play. You take a piece of silverware, and then a rag, and then you see how fast you can polish it. I love this game. Polish the floor. Let's do this. Well, I guess if you can't beat them, join them. I won. I can see myself in here. That ought to do it. What's up, Sparkle Squad? Guess what? I just got finished digging a hole for my latest adventure, a time capsule. So I had this treasure chest that I filled with all sorts of my favorite belongings. And now I'm just going to bury it for someone in the future to find. Here we go. Just one last step. There we go. Good luck, Time Capsule. I'll see you again, hopefully, way in the future. Hey there, Coach. What you doing? I'm picking up your mess. It looks like you didn't do your chores this morning. Well, technically, it's still 11.59, Coach, and you know what that means. It's still technically morning, so I still got time to do my chores. Well, get to it and see what that thing is there. I nearly broke my neck tripping over that. Huh. Well, what is it? I'm not sure. I've never seen this before, and I'm pretty old, you know. Hey, guys. What are you looking at? Lily, can you tell us what this is? Oh, I think I know what that is. It's my old time capsule from when I was younger. I buried this long ago for people like us in the future to look back on old memories. Oh, that sounds scary to me. Yeah, it's giving me the heebie-jeebies. Let's get out of here. Oh, it's not scary at all. It's fun to look back on our old memories when we were much younger. Oh, oh my gosh. Do you remember this party happened when you two threw me a birthday party years ago? How long ago was that? I can't remember that. <laughs> wow, Ellie, these cookies are delicious. Yeah, you gotta bring these to my birthday. Thanks, you guys. Consider it done. Hey, let's play charades. I wanna play animal charades. I'm gonna pick an animal and you gotta guess what it is. Oh, well, it just so happens that my favorite place in the whole world is the zoo. So I'm kind of what you would call an animal expert. <laughs> awesome! Let's get started. One, two, three. But she's carrying something. Who carries something? I got it. You're a school bus. A school bus? No. Okay, so I'm not supposed to give hints in the game of charades, but I'll do it this first time. It's animal charades. So think about animals. Boing. Boing. She's bouncing. Boing. She's bouncing Boing. up and down. You're a basketball. Boing. No, silly. It's an animal. She's bouncing. She's ba It's a whale. It's a whale. Come on, you guys. Focus here. So, this animal hops. It lives in Australia, and it carries its young in its pouch. I give up. Yeah, me too. I'm no good at this charades. I'm better at sports. Guys, it's a kangaroo. <laughs> I thought you guys would get that. 
kangaroo? That doesn't look anything like a kangaroo. You should have been more like this. Kinga, kinga, kangaroo. No, 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 that's not how it does. Here, hold this. I'll show you what a kangaroo does. It jumps like this and it chews at the same time. No, 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 no. You gotta get the clap. Oh, like this. Chewing on something. No, they chew. They chew. The bad. Oh, my God. Yeah. I still remember how tasty that cookie was. Oh, yes, with all those chocolate chips, nothing in the middle. Okay, fellas, let's move on with the time capsule. Oh, there's still plenty of memories in here, like this one. It's a laser gun from the future. No, no, it's a, an ice cream scooper. No, it's a pizza cutter. I don't remember that. I do. I remember it like it was yesterday. Special delivery! Fresh hot pizza coming right up! Ah, oh, perfect timing! I'm starving after a full day of summer activities. What do I do? We just play basketball. Good idea, because this one's got all his favorite toppings. Does it smell delicious? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Delicious pizza, it's ruined! Hey, you found my basketball. So, what's for lunch? And voila! Since clumsy old Coach Rocco dropped the pizza in the pool, Chef Jimmy is here to save the day with my very special lunch a -rooney Spectacular! What's a better poolside treat than some hot dogs? I'll show you my super secret recipe. First, you put on the condiments. Let's start with some mustard. Mmm, smells good already. Next up, potato chips. These babies really hit the spot. Mmm, and now for my personal favorite condiment, spaghetti. What hot dog is complete without a little spaghetti garnishing the top? And just one final, very special ingredient left. Hot sauce. To give it a little zest, you know, a little zing. <laughs> I love hot sauce. Just a touch. Oh, no! Oh, oops. Well, I'll be better with this one. Come on, chef. A little... Oh! Yikes! Ugh. Well, I hope they don't mind their hot dogs a little, uh, spicy. Oh, Ellie! Coach Rocco! Lunch is ready! Ta-da! Chef Jimmy's world-famous lunch rooney special is complete. Awesome, I'm starving. Is that hot sauce I'm smelling? Exactly how much hot sauce did you put in there, Jimmy? Ooh, <laughs> I love hot sauce. Good choice, I love spicy food. Bone apple teeth. I don't know what that means, but it's something I always hear chefs say. All right, dig in, Ellie. Um, you know what, Coach? I'm gonna watch you enjoy yours first. Oh, well, okay, more for me, I guess. <laughs> Are you okay, coach? <laughs> Jimmy water? Jimmy, how much hot sauce did you put in this? A little here, a little there, a little here and there. It's like, I just gotta tell you something. Oh, you're welcome. 
I think it's great that you're working hard to clean up the environment, and we don't want litter in the water now. Yeah, especially since there are animals in there. You know frog skin is so sensitive to chemicals that any garbage that's in the water could be poison to the little guys. Poor little green guys. You know, I've always been a little bit scared of those frogs, but they still deserve to live garbage free. I agree. Hey, look at this cool rock I found. <laughs> Whoa, no way. Hey guys, you gotta come see this. What's up, Jimmy? I just saw the biggest frog in the whole world. It looked like a monster frog almost. Monster frog? Oh, I don't like the sound of this. I gotta get a picture of it so I can show the whole science class. Hey, is that him? There he is. Wait a second, where'd he go? Come on back, I need to get your picture. Here, froggy. Here, frogger. <laughs> hey, kids. Uh, I'm all for saving the planet and critters of the green variety, but Monster frog? That's a little too slimy for my taste. <laughs> you feel me? Coach Rocco, <laughs> just stay right where you are. Don't move. Jimmy, get your phone. All right, just stay there. I'm going to be famous. Don't tell me. The frog is on me? Don't be scared. It's perfectly oh. harmless. It's oh. probably more scared of you than you are of it. Say cheese. Stay calm. Stay calm. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm thinking about fostering, so I decided to ask somebody from the Animal Rescue League to help me out. This is Tatiana. Hi, Tatiana. Hi, Ellie. So I have so many questions, but first of all, tell me more about the Animal Rescue League. How many dogs are there? Who works there? So we at the Animal Rescue League um, have a team of staff, fosters, and volunteers, um, all working together as a team to take care of the hundreds of animals that come through our doors every day. Wow, so what's the difference between fostering and adopting? So fostering is temporary and our fosters take our dogs in to give them a break from the shelter and kind of get them ready to be in their forever homes for when they get adopted. And when they get adopted, we're hoping that that's forever with their new families. Um, so fostering just really sets them up for that. For sure. Adopting a dog is a super big responsibility. So fostering is a really good alternative if you just want a furry friend at home. Hmm. So what kind of things do you have to know when you're taking care of a dog, whether you're fostering them or adopting them? So when you first bring them home, you just want to give them a little tour of the whole place. Mm -hmm. Kind of let them know the lay of the land, and then you get them all set up with their toys, their food, their water, their beds, and then you can always take them for a little walk too. Speaking of a walk, should we go on one right now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Boys and girls, if you want to learn more about puppies and dogs and fostering and adopting, give me a big thumbs up. <laughs> Good job, Riley! Riley, Riley, sit. Okay, we'll work on that. <laughs> You're so good at walking on a leash. You know, boys and girls, most dogs don't really know how to walk on a leash. You have to train them. Just like how you train them to go outside to the bathroom, or to sit, or to stay. <laughs> but you're pretty well trained, aren't you? Good girl! Ellie? You're right, that is a girl dog. Oh, how do you know, Coach Rocco? Well, uh, she's got long eyelashes and uh, beautiful hair like a girl. Yeah, and I bet she has a really girly bark too. Definitely a girl. Um, I don't think she's a girl because she has really long eyelashes and a girl bark. Um, Ellie? <laughs> What's that, Coach Rocco? 
it's my dog trainer badge. This summer, I went to school to become a professional dog trainer, and I almost got straight A's in class. And now I'm training Jimmy to be my assistant. That's right. He's the best dog trainer in the whole county. Good boy, Jimmy. <gasps> oh boy, a treat. <laughs> That's so cool. You know, we were just talking about how all dogs need to be trained to do everything. Well, I could tell that this dog really needs to be trained. Yeah, I would say so. You know what? Why don't you and me take Riley for a little bit and show her some super cool tricks? She'll be the best trained dog on the block. Hmm? Oh, I don't really know if That's she needs to be- That's the best idea you thought of all day, Jimmy. That's right, we can take Riley. We'll train her so well that everyone will want to adopt her, huh? Let's go. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> all right. To begin, we have to see if Riley can understand human. If not, we have to speak in her native tongue of dog talk. Riley, come here. She doesn't understand human. We got to speak to her in her dog language. Now you give it a try. Okay, a uh, dog language. All right. Um, very good, Jimmy. You get a treat for that. Mm. There you go. Mm. <laughs> I didn't know you could speak Golden Retriever. Mm. Just picked it up. Wow. Well, now that we can speak with her, let's teach her her very first trick. But let me, let's make it easy. All right? She's just a newbie now. Now, sit, Riley. Woo -woo -woo. No. Sit. Nothing. Riley. No, nothing. No, nothing. Yeah, something a little easier. Paw. Oh, nothing still. You think it's broken? Oh, no. Um, how about roll over, Riley? Roll over. Or uh, what about this? Lay down. Lay down. No, it's not lay down. It's roll over. Uh, fetch? Oh, I know. Play basketball. No, it's not play basketball. Oh, do the spin-a-rooney. No, do the spin-a-rooney, Riley. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Very good. Hey everyone, I just got Riley's favorite ball and now I'm gonna go see how her training is doing. Hi Riley! How's it going, Coach Rocco? Uh, it's going excellent. Uh, we taught Riley all the tricks in the book. <laughs> Great, I can't wait to see. Ready when you are. Uh, well, all right. Um, lesson number one, sit. Sit. Huh? All right, we'll, we'll try another one. Um, lesson number two. Paw, 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 paw. Not Can right now, treat? Jimmy. Can I'm treat? working with another student. Paw, <laughs> paw. Oh, wait, she doesn't understand. All right, <laughs> lesson number three. Roll over, roll over, roll over. Roll over. Roll over, Riley. Huh? Treat, Roll. treat, treat time. Not right now, I'm working with another student, Jimmy. <laughs> All right, uh, she'll know this one, she'll know this one. Here All right. we go. Fetch. All right, Riley, fetch, fetch, <laughs> ball, fetch. Coach, did you see that or did I imagine it? I got the ball, I got the ball. Does that mean I get a treat now? Well, it's not working on Riley, but my training has worked on Jimmy. Very <laughs> good boy. There you go. Here, take the whole thing. Oh boy. <laughs> well, let's go see a real doggy expert, right, Riley? Come on. Bye, Riley. We went on a really good walk, Bye. right, Riley? <laughs> I'd love to know more about her. Where did she come from? So Riley actually came to the shelter from Texas back Texas? in March, and she was very, very pregnant. <gasps> How many puppies did she have? She had 13 puppies. 13 puppies? That's so many puppies. She must have been a really good mama. She <laughs> was a great mom, and she got to stay in a foster home and raise her puppies until they all got adopted. Wow, foster parents are really helpful, aren't they? <laughs> She's so cute. How she old is she? Is. She is about two years old. Two years old? You still have a long life ahead of you, Riley. <laughs> does she know how to do any tricks? Yeah, she does. You want me to show you? Oh, yes, please. All right. Can you sit? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, well good done. job. Good well, job. Can I try? Yeah, definitely. Right. Sit. Riley, sit. Good 
girl. <laughs> so where do we get more information about how to foster or adopt? So you can go on our website. It's just berksarl.org, and it has all the information you need on there. Awesome. So, Coach, will you watch this new video that I made? It's a dance video, and I want your honest opinion about oh, it. Oh, I get to see the new Ellie Sparkle video. Is, are you going to put it on the tic-tac-toe? I think you mean TikTok, and I'm not sure yet. Let's watch it. Three, two, one. <laughs> Happy Halloween! <laughs> Oh, you guys, it's not an alien. It's just me, Ginny. What did I tell you about scaring people all the time? Well, you were kind of right about the alien, Coach. It's an alien, and his name is Jimmy. Oh, LOL, Ellie. Very funny. So funny, I forgot to laugh. But I was thinking, since Halloween's only five months away, why don't we start modeling out some costumes? Jimmy, we don't want to talk about costumes right now. We're watching Ellie's new video. We'll do that later. Now, where were we? Oh, Ooh, I'm Ellie, and I like dancing for TikTok. <laughs> if I want to have any fun around here, I'm going to need a twin. A twin that's exactly like me. <laughs> well, if anyone needs me, I'll be modeling costumes alone. A twin, eh? Well, I think I can make that work for Jimmy. <laughs> Coach, I'll be right back. Oh. Now you have to press play. <laughs> oh, I don't know how to use this, Ellie. Ellie! Oh. Hit the play button! Oh. Okay, Sparkle Squad, if you want to see me turn into Jimmy, hit that thumbs up button. See you later, Jimmeroonies. And then another one. Oh, do we really have to do math again today? Oh, come on, Jimmy, I almost got it. Now, where's Ellie when you need her? What's up, Zootaroonie? Sorry I'm late. I was just playing some Roblox and I got the super cool new avatar. It's super sweet. Well, you certainly sound different today. Yeah, and I love your new outfit. What have I always told you? Orange and blue is way cooler than pink and yellow. You look great. All right, now back to the problem. Math? Yuck. What about gym class? When's that? <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Pay attention, you two. One half plus one half plus one half. One and a half spinnerunies. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. You're a genius. Wow, whatever's gotten into you, Ellie, I'm all here for it. One, one and one half, that's exactly right. <laughs> awesome, now that math class is over, you know what I want to do? Basketball. And you know where I want to play it? In, In the, the kitchen. kitchen. <laughs> Did we just become best friends? Uh, yup. Yeah. Uh, no basketball in the kitchen. I just cleaned in there. <laughs> <laughs> Best gym class of the year. Yep, kitchen basketball is totally awesome. I think even Coach Rocco liked it. Oh yeah, I think so too. So, what's next? Hey, there's a bunch of space around here for some TV room basketball. <laughs> I'm a little tired from playing in the kitchen. What do you say we break for lunch first? <laughs> lunch? Boring! Look at all this space, Jimmy! It's perfect for practicing spinneroonies. Once I bring the hoop in, you're gonna want to change your mind. <laughs> I don't know what's gotten into Ellie lately. Sure, basketball is great, but you can't just be doing spinneroonies 24-7. Every now and then you need to take a little lunch break and recharge the old battery. Jimmy! Jimmy! Jimmy, I got the hoop! Look, look, look! We can practice basketball now! You wanna play? TV room basketball! <laughs> Ellie, I really like this new direction that you're going in, but I'm tired. I want to eat my sandwich. I packed my favorite, peanut butter and bologna. <laughs> okay, party pooper. Guess I'm going to have to practice all by myself. Ellie runs to the left. Ellie runs to the right. 
she swerves. She's running the court. Dribble, 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 dribble. And she does the Ellie spin over She shoots. Oh, my peanut butter and bologna sandwich. Sorry about that, Jimmy. Guess my spin rooney got the best of me there. But hey, that just means I need more practice. And I need a practicing buddy. I'm gonna go get a second <laughs> basketball and you're gonna play it with me. Ha! Oh, no, I don't want a second basketball. Ugh. You know, I'm starting to think that maybe there is such a thing as too much basketball. Ellie? Ellie? You anywhere around here? Oh, she's gone, finally! Now I can get a chance to catch up on some math homework. Ah, the joys of multiplication. Wait a second, what's wrong with me? I don't talk like this. I don't like math homework. Jimmy! Ah, there you are! Guess what? I have the best idea for a Halloween costume. Oh, well, what is it? Basketballs. You want us to dress as basketballs? Yeah, we'll have this giant basketball balloon and then we'll both jump in and then we'll go around trick-or-treating in it. We'll have the hugest Halloween candy haul ever in school history. How would that even be possible? <laughs> hey coach, I can't wait for you to hear about our Halloween costume idea. Ellie, number one, enough with the basketball. Spinneroonies in the kitchen, Spinneroonies in the living room, Spinneroonies on my peanut butter and bologna sandwich. You're obsessed. And now you want us to dress as basketballs too? How could anyone like basketball this much? I think you'd be much wiser to spend your time doing something more productive, such as studying for our upcoming math test. <sighs> Why am I talking about math again? Wow, Jimmy, you sure sound different, more responsible. I like it. Oh, I don't like it. What's happening to me? Hey, Jimmy, new game. Let's see how many popcorn pieces I can fit in my mouth. No, Ellie, don't play that game. The popcorn's not gonna end up in your mouth. It's just gonna end up on the floor for me to clean up and it'll make a big mess and... Ah, there it is again. Uh-oh. I think that since Ellie's being more like Jimmy, Jimmy's being more like Ellie. Oh, no! Well, I know I'm being Jimmy. It's really fun. I got basketball on it or it's popcorn. We're going with two Jimmy's now. Two Jimmy's! Oh no! Spin a ring! Spin a ring! Spin a ring! Ah! Ah! The horror! The horror! Now just hold on a second, I'll see if your rooms are ready. Ellie, the guests are here, are the rooms ready? Yep, the rooms are spick and span clean and the pool is also clean and cannonball ready as specifically requested. I wonder who it is, I can't wait. Uh, wait, you haven't heard who's here? Welcome to Hotel Ellie, where maximum fun is guaranteed 110%. Hey, Ellie, I have arrived, and boy, am I looking forward to this. I've really been needing the vacation. So, I trust that your swimming pool is cannonball ready? Sorry about that one, Ellie. He insisted on coming along. Jimmy, I'm so happy to see you. Yep, the pool is cannonball ready as you specifically requested. Totally awesome! So, Ellie, your brochure promised that there would be maximum fun. Am I right about that? Yeah, but come on, Jimmy, that's just a saying. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. Ellie promised maximum fun, so I plan on having the maximumist amount of fun that I can. Is my room ready? Uh, sure, let me help you with your bags. Oh, boy, these sure are heavy for such a short stay. Come on, Casey, I'll show you to your room. Oh, sweet! First dibs on a bedroom! Four bags? You think four measly bags is cool? Ha! Mere peanuts. Wait till you see what I brought. Come on in, Casey. This is your room. Whoa, you gave me your bedroom? I love it. Yep, it had to be super special for my very first guest. 
Here's my bed that you're gonna be sleeping in. It's got my very best bedding, super fluffy. And over here, I provided some extra wardrobe options for my own very special collection, just in case you wanted to change things up. And over here, I have some decorations, like this painting, and oh, come in. Sorry to interrupt you, Miss Ellie, uh, but we have a big, big problem. Somebody isn't happy with his room. Well, 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 what do we have here? Casey gets the biggest, brightest room in the whole hotel, and I'm stuck in the baby room? Is this how you treat your number one guest? Well, technically, Casey was here first, so she's the number one guest. Oh, yeah, you heard here first, folks. Casey number one, Jimmy number two. Okay, well, let's get something straight. <laughs> Jimmy is number one at everything, and Please. that includes this. Why did I get the bigger room then? Well, I don't know. Maybe Clearly, there's some kind of big of mistake car? going on. Okay, guys, I want to settle this fair and square. So how about we do some sort of challenge or something to see who gets the room? How about this? If Casey can make one shot with the basketball hoop, she gets to pick the room. But, Ellie, <laughs> I don't play basketball. I play soccer. Remember? I accept. I accept. Here you go, soccer girl. Best of luck. I'll just start fixing up my bed here. You know what? I think I'm going to use this. <laughs> Are you sure about that, Casey? It might be easier with the basketball. Ah, don't worry, I got this. I was practically born holding a soccer ball. <laughs> a soccer ball in the basketball hoop. <laughs> That's too good. All right, be my guest. I gotta see this. You got this? <laughs> Goal! Yes! <laughs> oh, do over, do over. The rules of basketball explicitly state that you cannot use a soccer ball in the basketball hoop. Oh, but Jimmy, I said one shot. I didn't say whether it had to be a soccer ball or a basketball or any other kind of ball. So Casey gets to keep the room. <laughs> oh, this isn't over. You haven't heard the last of me. Ah, uh, what an amazing pool. Ellie sure knows how to run a hotel, huh? She sure does. I tell you what, Casey, that whole argument we had earlier, I've completely forgotten all about it. I mean, everyone hits a lucky shot once in a million years. Yeah, and who cares about Casey one, Jimmy zero? Let's just enjoy this amazing pool, huh? Hey guys, hope you're enjoying your stay at Hotel Ellie so far. As part of our impeccable pool service, we have a waiter here who can help you with anything that you want. Yay! Feel free to give him a call. Do you hear that, Jimmy? We can get anything we want. Let's test this out, huh? Uh, it does sound good, but I don't know about you, but when I got a whole pool to myself, that's everything I could want in the entire world. I'm a simple man. In fact, I think now I'm gonna go break the school cannonball record. See you later. Okay, suit yourself. <laughs> cannonball! Cannonball! Yes, it's official, it's official. The biggest cannonball in school history. How do you like that, Casey? Now we're tied one to one. Ah, <sighs> does life get any better than this? I see you all came out to watch me break the school record for most cannonballs. That's really nice of you. So, Casey, are you super jealous? You know, now that we're one to one. Sorry, Jimmy, I didn't even see it. I was too busy eating all this awesome food that Coach Rocco kept bringing over. Wait a second, Jimmy. You broke the school cannonball record in my hotel? Oh my goodness, this is gonna be great press for the hotel. Hotel Ellen, the premier destination for cannonballs. You should have seen all the food she ordered. I'm surprised you didn't order anything, Jimmy. Uh, well, I was obviously busy, you know, breaking records. But now that I'm almost done, I think I'll have some of that food myself. One of your finest pizzas, please. Ooh, and one of those sundaes that Casey was eating, too. Ooh, sorry about that, Jimmy. The pool kitchen is now officially closed. You're gonna have to go inside if you wanna have any food. What? No food? Oh, but I'm starving after all those cannonballs. <sighs> you know, all this time by the pool has me pooped. <laughs> I'm gonna call it a day and head to my room. You know, the big one. <laughs> Good idea, I'm gonna clean up this mess. Yeah, feel free to keep swimming if you want, Jimmy. Break more records, too. <laughs> Hotel Ellie's pool is never closed. See you later. 
All right, Casey, well, just remember, now that I'm the school cannonball record holder, that means we are officially one to one. Hmm, I guess there's just one thing left to do. Cannonball! Oh man, I can't believe our stay isn't already over. I know, it was cut way too short, but you're welcome to come back to Hotel Ellie anytime. Oh, by the way, where'd you end up in your competition? Well, let's see. The final score was Jimmy 12, Casey 12. Uh-oh, that means we tied. We need one more competition to determine who's the ultimate winner. Yeah, but what would we even do? I mean, we made a competition out of literally everything we could. Oh, I have the best last competition. It's called the Polishing the Fork Game. <laughs> oh no, Coach Rocco, not this game, not on the last day. Oh, come on, everybody loves this game and it's super easy. You just polish the forks as fast as you can. Whoever polishes the most wins. Oh, just make sure you don't put this in the reviews, okay? I don't want anybody thinking that going to Hotel Ellie means you have to polish forks. Hmm. Ready, on your marks, get set, go! See, you gotta polish them so clean that you see your own reflection. See, 